Sorry. Like, paying attention to the chord, chord that I'm on. Chord tones in your solo? Yeah, like, and I'm just having a hard time paying attention and knowing what chord I'm on at, like, without, you know, saying it out loud to myself or <laughs> writing well, it all out. Or something. Well, at, at first, that's kind of what you have to do. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, it's that's... really it's um, and this is something that I struggled with early on and a lot of my students do is that we at first don't think that we really need to know what the chords are and when they happen. Right. But we do. We right. need to know when what's going on as we're soloing. We need to be not only listening to our solo, but listening to the chords that and, and everything right. else that's going on. Right. So one way to practice that is to um, record the chords or, or right. you know, and then um, and if you have to have a, a, a chart in front of you and you can right. even, um, you know, like, let me just record uh, some chords. Uh, what are the basic chords there? C, uh, C G. A minor F. I, I don't remember the rhythm, but I'm just going to record this. Uh, I'll just record that rhythm. Sure. Okay, so let's see here. Um, So one thing you can do is just literally try to play the chords along with it, like maybe different voices, okay. like, um, you know, some like... Okay. Yeah. And that's kind of forcing you to, right. to think about it. Right. And then you can practice like um, some of the arpeggios, maybe um, like. Uh, let's see now, there I wasn't thinking about the chords, so I. idea yeah so, so I was just kind of going through these uh, different chords like C and then I went to so I did this C and then I went to this G right oh. yeah and then I went to this A minor and then this F And then you might try going from this C up to this G. Yeah. You try to find chords in an area where you're going to solo. And then maybe this A minor. Right. And then this G. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, we've got the F there. Sorry. So try to find chords in the area you're going to solo. Right. Okay. So does that make sense? That does. Yeah. Let, let me let me give it a quick shot. I actually don't have it recorded, so let me just do it real quick in a new loop. Okay. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> no, I'm like thinking the wrong. Um, so. Is that? Is yeah. That Ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. 
So I'll just do the those chords first. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and try that again. Yeah, okay. But what I was going to say, and, and then we'll come back to what you're doing, but another thing is, say you're soloing in this scale pattern, you know, uh, this. So I just did right. that, you know, that scale pattern. Right. So what you might do then is as just try to find the third of each chord. So like, um, so it's going from a, a C, that's the third of my C chord. Then the third of my G chord is a B. Then the third of my A minor chord is the, uh, what, the C. And the third of my, um, a minor is the, or the F rather is the A. So I'm going, um, So there I played the third of each chord. Right, right. So then you could do something like. Uh -uh. Um, so. Try to make some kind of a melody out of finding those notes and then adding scale tones nearby. Right. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, like finding the third, you're saying? The third of each chord or the, the root of each chord. So you could even start with the root of each chord. The, here's your C, here's your G, right. here's your A, and here's your F. Um, Try to find them all in one scale pattern or the scale pattern you're going to use or or nearby right so wait this one i forget there you go yeah yeah i guess maybe i'm like being a little too strict with it but what i what i would like to try to like figure out is like where like he, he does these certain licks over and over and it seems mm -hmm. like he does them on the same chord so like if I could just <laughs> I guess it's probably not ideal way to learn but if I could like memorize which chords go with which licks yeah kind of make up my own solo yeah yeah absolutely um like there's there's this thing he keeps doing that. And that's from the A minor into the F, I think. Which would make sense, right? Because this is your F. Right. And this is the fifth of your A minor. Exactly. Yeah. So that that's super cool. Um, then there's this like really good lick where he goes. Like we've kind of studied this with blues songs, like this this hammering i think it was like a zeppelin song we learned it on where i'm going like right between those two uh -huh. um, so i'm just trying to remember what like if i just play that over any chord it's not always going to sound good but probably the c right because uh -huh. that's the c right there right right so if i just start the progression See, like before I even know it, the C is over. That's the thing that this, the chords are are fast. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Um, I'm gonna redo the now that I know the rhythm. Yeah, that that's what I think I'm struggling with most because it's so, like. Um, yeah. So. Um, One more time. 
So. So, as I recall, the solo is, it's one of the things I would do at first on this solo is just try to end on that C a lot, try to do some licks. Right, okay. Um, So one thing you could okay. do, actually, and that's not a great loop, is I think that what I, if I was going to assign you something, I'm going to assign you to, uh, to work on pausing on, when you pause, make sure it's either a C, an E, or a G. C, E, G. Cool. So okay. regardless okay. of what chord you're on, just try to end on right. one of those notes. Okay, so that's good. That's really good. So as I'm soloing here, yeah. I'm ending on that C. There's my C again. And that's a G. There's a, another G. So just kind of practicing, even without yeah. listening to the chords. Right. Just try yeah. to get the cadence. So I think a, a good place to start would probably be this chord shape, like the Bob Weir. Yep, yep. Because I got my C, G, E right there. Right. And you've got a G here. Right. Um, yeah. And you've got a an this E here when you bend this D here at the 15th fret. Yes. Yes. Okay. Think of right. that as another E. Right. Right. So now really all I did with that lick there is I just primarily played a, the third in the root of a C chord. Right. Sure. Yeah, I love that lick. Like, like where you pull off and unbend uh-huh and so another when you do this lick which he does a lot is i'm bending this and we've talked about this one before bending this d up to an e which is the third right and then i'm going to play the fifth with my pinky so so that's really just an e and a g right right no so that's perfect for most to, to focus on that like uh, through most of the chords. All right. Yeah, let me... So try that a little bit right now. Yeah. Unless, yeah. Okay. So that was good. Hang on for one sec. So it's already starting to work because yeah. early in, you ended on a note over here somewhere. Yes. And your ear immediately pulled you up to a chord tone. Totally. It was the C. It was, the C. Yeah, it was right. instinct. This. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're right. Because I was, I was just doing a, a straight like... Scale or whatever. Kind of, yeah, I just kind of felt like going down, but then I realized it was flat and then, yeah. 
So that and is that's the helpful. idea. You want to be able to react to that. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So, so I think... then one of the next things is to take your solo and try to play the, the right. prescribed solo. Right, right. And then when you mess up, just keep going. So that's where I struggle. But yeah, I'd lo I would love to, to work on that. Because um, it's almost like, for me, it's either it's either like hardcore muscle memory or I'm in the improv zone. But I want to sure. work the two, you know? Sure, sure, absolutely. And that's typical. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's very typical. It's, it's like when... Um, when, uh, say, a lot of times when someone is memorizing lyrics, right, it's hard to start in the middle of a line. You've got to back up and start from the beginning of the line. Exactly. Or it's like, I'm, I'm guessing you played piano when you were a kid, right? You had piano yes. lessons. Yep. And if you mess up somewhere in the middle, where did you start? Yeah, right. Exactly. You exactly. went back to the beginning of the line or sometimes right. the beginning of the song. Absolutely. And yes. yeah. Yeah. And I remember the time I realized, um, and I saw this in Whiplash, like it was part of that movie Whiplash. Like I just wasn't even looking at the music at a certain point. I just sure. needed it there. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I couldn't do it without Security it. Security blanket. Yep. Yeah, that's all that it was, but I felt like I wasn't even reading it at a certain point. And you point. needed it like for one little measure or something. Right, that's probably yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. I wasn't sure that where. That would be the case for me. Sometimes I would need it just <laughs> get so I could get, do the turn page. Right, 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 but, right. Or the page, you know, the, but yeah. I didn't really need it. I right, just, right, right. you know, subconsciously thought, <laughs> oh, I need this just, you know, because I always right. mess up here, so I better have the music there. Right, right. Instead exactly. of just learning it. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so it's the same so it's the same thing. So my point right. being is that it's typical to you're either in this zone or this zone. So it's a right. matter of trying to get so you can blend right. the two. Right. And the only right. way to do it is to just not stop playing. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um and then just gravitate towards. Okay, I, I would like to just do more improv for now. Okay, just uh, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll do some solo stuff, but it'll be mostly improv. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I hear what you think. All right. Yeah. Um, so I will start though with this one. Yeah, that was, that like was good. That. So That's... one thing that you were doing at first uh -huh. is you were just doing little two or three note things. You were stopping it, but what you were doing, you were listening and you were thinking melody in your head. Right, right, exactly. And that's what you that's what you got to do. So I'm gonna yeah. do another little exercise here. All right. I'm gonna have you just uh, listen without playing. But I want you to listen through the chords, but I want you to count, because a lot of times what messes us up too is not only that we're not listening to the chord changes, but we're not listening to the rhythm. Right. So what, okay. one thing you have to get in your head is where eighth notes and sixteenth notes are. So as the chords are going, you could be going like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three E and 
and a four E and a one E and a two. So, so what I did there is I mixed up eighth notes, sixteenth notes, half notes, and, and whole notes. Okay, okay. You know what? I like that. Instead of counting, I'm gonna try to just play just root notes. Let yeah. me have you try the counting through okay. once. Okay, sure. Play, yeah. They'll play your chords though, and and count with as you're playing the chords. Got it. Just like I was doing there. One, two. But only four beats. There's only four beats in a bar. Two. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, two, three, four, one, two. Right, so, so then, like, yeah. and I'm going to cut you off, you can do like, let's take a part of a scale. I'm going to change cameras here. So if we've got one, uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. So a lot of times when we try to do a fast lick, we get out of time. Yeah, yeah. I and, kinda... and we don't come back into time right. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Okay. So yeah. that's another uh, element. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a really good point. So go ahead. Do a little more. Uh, we're about out of time, actually. But try oh, yeah. another improv. Okay. Yeah, I want to I wanna just try kind of what you just did. So I'm going to stop you for a second. Let me okay. have you count when you're doing or do that same thing, but while you're going like one and two and a three and a four and one. So count while you're doing those long held notes. Try right. to one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a whoops. One and a two and a three and a four and one two three. You know. Right. So you got to count through those too. Right. One e and a two e and a three. It sounds yeah. like it's hard. It sounds okay. Or even just one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one. Sorry, one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a four e, four e and a one, four e and a one. So there I had to work it out in my head how to get to this note. One e and a two e and a three and a four e and a four e, four e and a one. Whoops. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll work on that exercise. So um, that improv that you were doing though sounded good. It was cut. Yeah, I like yeah. parts of it for sure. I'll I'll go back and watch the video and break it down a little bit more. Nice, Dude, nice work. Yeah. Appreciate right. it, man. See you next week. See ya. Yep.
See you then, man. Thanks.